hey guys um, plan is to get in a little bit of a stealth hike up today um, problem is there are residential houses budding right onto this entryway shouldn't really say stealth because it shouldn't have to be a stealth operation because uh, where I'm heading is technically a fire trail so I had a look on Google Maps to see what was up this way up the escarpment and um, yeah it was like fire trail fire trail and I read one of the comments saying that um, hikers should ignore all the false threats about private property um, it's technically on a mine mining lease but they don't they're not allowed to block fire trails so uh, and there was a whole list of um, uh, legislation relevant legislation um, that uh, pertain to this particular um, instance so it is definitely um, pretty alarming like when you look at the signs private property do not enter they reckon there's um, cameras around um, all sorts of stuff but there is a National Parks and Wildlife sign that I'm going to read and um, I'm going to check it out but I shouldn't really be worried there's a guy out the front of his um, at the front of his place I'm not sure if it's, a, if it's his place or if it's a contractor I don't know why they would have a problem with me going in there it's got nothing to do with them so let's go and check it out So I'm 27 minutes into the walk and um, a little bit nervous to be honest. But I found this sign and I thought it was like some like from a distance I thought it was a warning sign. I mean why would someone put that up here? This is pretty random. Apparently on a mining site, an active mining site. I've noticed um, horse hoof prints, the horseshoe prints. Found kind of a fence up here. As I was just climbing this um, short hill, I noticed in the distance there was um, something that looked remotely um, man-made, and that is a dead straight line. So I just stopped here because I think it's a gate ahead, and where there's gates, there may be cameras. So I might have to do one of these ones and these ones just to obscure my identity because technically I am trespassing but it's a bit of a thrill to this I'm not hurting anyone, I'm not stealing anything I'm just in a place that that I shouldn't be and that's kind of fun let's go a 
real, or this area has a real like Jurassic, Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World slash all those other movies where things are abandoned, or it looks abandoned and abandoned and unused. I'm not so worried about dinosaurs. I'm more concerned about employees and people ready to wrap me out they find me this is really cool it seems super abandoned too let's go for a walk the good thing about being on foot is that if i need to dash i can just jump into the bush if i hear uh, a car i'm in a car around here mate um, Up ahead I can see something in a chain link fence, so could be a camera. There's something mounted up on the top. Keep an eye out for a place where I can dash into as well. More roadside obstacles. It's a big tree. Wow. Hopefully I can just walk under these ones. Oh, I stepped on this little guy. Here is as good a spot as any just to sit in. Cheeky little stopover. There's no one around here. I've been walking for ages. I've been walking for almost an hour and a half. Up the escarpment. There's flat areas, but... There's also a lot of uphill walking as well, especially at the start. Just put the skin back in the bag and take it home. And I'll just throw the banana skin in our worm farm in our compost. No trangia today. But I do have toilet paper because I've been in too many situations where I've been absolutely busting to do a number two in the bush and haven't had anything to wipe my butt on. Or I've been in circumstances where it could have been bad uh, and it was a narrow escape. I've never been in a problematic situation before. But having the toilet paper, you just feel... It's just... It just makes you feel like everything is okay, it's cool, it's all good. There's not going to be any problems. So, toilet paper. Haven't to used it today. I used it the other day when I went down to, um, down to Bundanoon. And let's get the water. Yeah. I'm really not that thirsty. I'm a little bit thirsty, but... I 
the sticker on this Nalgene bottle. Girls and Boys is a um, it's a um, we call it ice creamery down in I think it's in Fitzroy yeah Fitzroy down in Melbourne and um, this stick I've had this sticker on this bottle for ages it's lasted so long and obviously the business is called Girls and Boys and they make really good vegan ice cream it's excellent on Brunswick Street in Fitzroy so that's the story that goes behind the little story that's behind the sticker in case you're wondering and the more I eat and drink the less I have to carry back so that's an incentive to eat and drink more I guess I could just pour the water out but I might, I might need it when I get back to the car I just find it amazing how life just finds a way in all the most random little places little tiny nooks and crannies where someone's laid an asphalt road a tiny bit of dirt and sand and grit accumulates a seed falls in there and, and you've got a plant and then the roots of that plant crack open even if it's just a small amount, they'd erode away the, the road, the surface. Panic stations. And then some more grit can fall in. So when that plant dies, another seed falls in, continues the process and breaks the road down. Lots of whip birds. So many whip birds. That twittering there. I think they're like fairy wrens or something. Such a pretty sound. Pretty easy pack up. Let's head back. And we're gonna head down this way. The clouds look a little bit ominous, but uh, the Bureau of Meteorology assures me that it's not gonna rain today. But there might be a shower or two tomorrow.
Oh, I'm really glad I got to come out today and explore up here. Bit of a cheeky adventure. Very cheeky. So I'm just going to make my way back to the car. So thanks for coming on this little hiking adventure with me and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. As much as I want to eat these right now, I've got a sausage roll in there too. I'm going to wait until I get home.